All right, so this is unit two. And in unit two, we're going to go the other way with our design. In this case, we're going to be looking at the template first and then trying to uh, formulate something based upon an already made template. Okay, and one of the traditional templates out there is the matchbox. So we're going to be using the matchbox. Uh, in your sheet, um, we're going to be going to this URL right here. It's PDF. And you'll be downloading this PDF. Download. Save. And then we're going to open that up with Inkscape. So the best way I found to do this is uh, let's open up a brand new Inkscape. And then go File Open. And here we want to just import everything just like this. So this is a great template, but it's not ready for print or production. In other words, this is very scrapbook person variation of a template. Um, and we would be able to like look at this and say, oh yeah, that's a good crafty idea. But we need vectors around it. And we need to be able to change it in certain ways. So to start, what we need to do is first, you know, put it on its own layer. And then under layer layers, that's what this is. We can go in here and make a new layer. And we'll call this cut path. And then we can make another one called fold path. Okay. So your mission is go to the cut path and you're going to be taking this tool right here, the draw via Zare tool. And you're going to be following very right dead on actually uh, with this cut path. Now, as you can see, the lines are really thick and that's what I'm talking about. This is very non-production ready. So in order to make it so you can see this stuff, you can go to this one, this layer and lower the opacity down. And then go back to the cut path. And you can set yourself maybe to the outside edge of the curve. So click. Now to make a straight line, you hold control. And to pan over, you can use the space bar. Click and drag. You'll find your way as far as like the navigation goes in this program. But when you get a, cur when you get a curve already put out like this, you hit enter. And there we go. And we want to set all the stroke paths to no fill. Oops. We want stroke path to be black for the fold or cut and then green for the fold. So in this case, we also want them in inches and it being 0 0.001 inches. Now what I'm doing is I'm setting up a mock-up of what a person would want as a production ready design. So does it always have to be 0 .001? Yes. In fact, because this is a real time exercise in design, I am demanding as the client that it be 0 .001 inches. So once you get all the way around this thing with these lines, then you go on to the fold and then you do that one. Now, when you get all that done, go on to the next video and I'll show you the next step.